Tommaso Campanella op Italian Tom Mazzo Campana the 5th of September 1568 to the 21st of May 1639 baptized Giovanni Domenico Campanella was a Dominican friar Italian philosopher theologian astrologer and poet topic <inaudible> biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Born in Stignano in the county of Stilo in the province of Reggio di Calabria in Calabria, southern Italy, Campanella was a child prodigy. Son of a poor and illiterate cobbler, he entered the Dominican order before the age of 14, taking the name of Fra Tommaso in honor of Thomas Aquinas. He studied theology and philosophy with several masters. Early on, he became disenchanted with the Aristotelian orthodoxy and attracted by the empiricism of Bernardino Telesio (1509–1588), who taught that knowledge is sensation and that all things in nature possess sensation. Campanella wrote his first work, Philosophia Sensibus Demonstrata (Philosophy Demonstrated by the Senses), published in 1592 in defense of Telesio. In 1590, he was in Naples where he was initiated in astrology. Astrological speculations would become a constant feature in his writings. Campanella's heterodox views, especially his opposition to the authority of Aristotle, brought him into conflict with the ecclesiastical authorities. Denounced to the Inquisition, he was arrested in Padua in 1594 and cited before the Holy Office in Rome. He was confined in a convent until 1597. After his liberation, Campanella returned to Calabria, where he was accused of leading a conspiracy against the Spanish rule in his hometown of Stilo. Campanella's aim was to establish a society based on the community of goods and wives, for on the basis of the prophecies of Joachim of Fiori and his own astrological observations, he foresaw the advent of the Age of the Spirit in the year 1600. Betrayed by two of his fellow conspirators, he was captured and incarcerated in Naples, where he was tortured on the rack. Even from the confinement of the jail, Campanella managed to influence the intellectual history of the early 17th century, by maintaining epistolary contacts with European philosophers and scientists, Neapolitan cultural circles, and Caravaggio's commissioners. Finally, Campanella made a full confession and would have been put to death if he had not feigned madness and set his cell on fire. He was tortured further a total of seven times and then, crippled and ill, was sentenced to life imprisonment. Campanella spent 27 years imprisoned in Naples, in various fortresses. During his detention, he wrote his most important works, The Monarchy of Spain 1600, Political Aphorisms 1601, Atheismus Triumphatus Atheism Conquered, 1605-1607, Quad Reminiscitor 1606, Metaphysica 1609-1623, Theologia 1613-1624, and his most famous work, The City of the Sun originally written in Italian in 1602, published in Latin in Frankfurt 1623, and later in Paris 1638. He defended Galileo Galilei in his first trial with his work The Defense of Galileo written in 1616, published in 1622. During the time before his second trial, September 25, 1632, Campanella wrote to Galileo that To my great disgust I have heard that wrathful theologians of the congregation aim to prohibit the dialogues of your excellency, and that no one will be present who understands mathematics or recondite things. Be aware that while Your Excellency does state that it was appropriate to prohibit the theory of the Earth's motion, you are not obliged to believe that the reasons of those who contradicted you are good. This is a theological rule, and is proved by the Second Council of Nicaea which decreed that Angelorum imagines de pingi debent, quamam vir corpore sunt images of angels must be depicted as they are in the flesh, while the decree is valid, the reasoning behind it is not, since all scholars today say angels are incorporeal. There are many other fundamental reasons. I fear violence from people who do not understand this. Our Pope makes a lot of noise against this and speaks as the Pope, but you haven't heard about that, nor can think about it. In my opinion Your Excellency should write to the Grand Duke of Tuscany, that since they are putting Dominicans, Jesuits, Theatines, and secular priests who are against your books in this council, they should also admit Father Castelli and me. Campanella was finally released from prison in 1626, through Pope Urban VIII, who personally interceded on his behalf with Philip IV of Spain. Taken to Rome and held for a time by the Holy Office, Campanella was restored to full liberty in 1629. He lived for five years in Rome, where he was Urban's advisor in astrological matters. 
In 1634, however, a new conspiracy in Calabria, led by one of his followers, threatened fresh troubles. With the aid of Cardinal Barberini and the French ambassador de Noailles, he fled to France, where he was received at the court of Louis XIII with marked favour. Protected by Cardinal Richelieu and granted a liberal pension by the king, he spent the rest of his days in the convent of Saint Honoré in Paris. His last work was a poem celebrating the birth of the future Louis XIV Eclaga in Portentosum Delphini Nativitatum. Campanella's De Sensu Rerum et Magia 1620 partly inspired the first fully-fledged-it narrative in English, Charles Gildon's The Golden Spy 1709. Topic see also Utopian and dystopian fiction topic Notes topic References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Campanella, Tommaso. Encyclopædia Britannica. 5 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. Topic external links Ernst, Germana. Tommaso Campanella. In Zalta, Edward N. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. Works by Tommaso Campanella at Project Gutenberg Works by or about Tommaso Campanella at Internet Archive Works by Tommaso Campanella at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks Peter Forsaw 2010 Astrology, Ritual and Revolution in the Works of Tommaso Campanella 1568-1639 Works in English translations The City of the Sun, a poetical dialogue between a Grand Master of the Knights Hospitallers and a Genoese sea captain, his guest. Translated to English by editor Henry Morley, Project Gutenberg. City of the Sun, text derived from Ideal Commonwealths, P.F. Collier and Son, New York, 1901. Displayed by eBooks at Adelaide University of Adelaide Library, South Australia Ideal Commonwealths, contains excerpts from City of the Sun and Short Biography, by editor, Henry Morley, Professor of English Literature at University College, London, 5th edition, 1890, Project Gutenberg. Sonnets of Michelangelo Buonarroti and Tommaso Campanella, 1878, translated into rhymed English, by John Addington Simmons, author of Renaissance in Italy.